and welcome gorgeous Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone's doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates from the cards and messages and just leave what doesn't resonate. So your first card is inspiration. Your second one from this deck is a reflection card. So let's take a look at the inspiration card to begin with. And it says, take rest. A field that has rested gives a bountiful crop. Take 10 minutes out of your day to quietly observe the world around you. How can you cultivate this calm energy during times of stress? So, you know, there may be there may be times this week where you feel stressed, you feel overwhelmed, you feel overworked, um, you just feel busy, you feel rushed. And um, even if you can just take a mental break, just a five, 10 minute mental break from the stress or worry and anxiety, whatever this actually turns out to be in your life this week, uh, you'll find that it actually sows the seed for this beautiful crop, which means it's going to be um, there's going to be a smoother situation. You'll be in the flow, and um, things will turn out a lot, a lot more peaceful. There'll be a lot more calmness in the situation, and um, it leaves the door open for abundance to come in. Let's see what this reflection card is about. Your past does not define who you are today. So it's about leaving the past in the past, leaving your past behind you, really surrendering uh, any troubles, difficulties, you know, something there that you're holding on to that you need to let go of. Close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. With each inhale, breathe in calm and peace. With each breath, let go of what came before. You are here now. Your path is in front of you. So very much focusing on the present moment and your future rather than reminiscing on the past or contemplating um, things that have happened in the past. Guidance for Scorpio, please. Spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Scorpio, please. Macabre. The frequency of Merkaba or Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to transverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. The first thing I'm seeing here is that there's something is multifaceted. There's a layer that you're not seeing at the moment, a layer to someone or a layer to a relationship that you're involved in. So this week, you're going to find um, some answers here. You're going to uncover a truth. You're going to understand the different levels of what's happening, the different layers. It activates our access to our Kashic inheritance as well. Merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Because ultimately, this is where spirit wants you to go. Um, and wants you to be in alignment with your highest purpose. And so perhaps you need to dive a little bit deeper into a situation and, and discover, maybe take off the rose colored glasses a little bit and um, dive a little bit deeper into a situation. With kindness, dive a little bit deeper with kindness. The energy of kindness reminds us to be considerate and wise in our interactions with others and ourselves. And to find the root of our love through our connection to source. So um, yeah, there's a there is an interesting interaction that you're going to have this week. There is going to be a surprise turn of events that happen where you're not expecting things to change. Uh, you're not expecting a, a different scenario to, to take place or someone to say something a certain way or for you know plans to change. But just have kindness in your heart, have that in, in your consciousness um, through all the interactions that may be happening around this change or turn of events that happen. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. The Angel of the Universe. You are being encouraged to expand your thinking. 
It's time to think outside the box a little bit or expand your thinking because you may be hung up on a particular thought or idea. Um, it might be quite narrow minded or you just are in a stuck pattern. So there's really a, a need here to um, broaden your horizons, to connect with the cosmos, to connect with source energy, to connect with God. Meditation and prayer can help with this. Um, and to have that intention and focused on expanding your consciousness, expanding your thinking about something. The God of Reflections. The qualities you see in others are simply your own reflections. So for positive or for negative things, this is true. So you might be seeing someone's actions, their behavior, um, you might be reflecting on that and there might be some lessons to learn about self in that process. Guidance for Scorpio, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Scorpio, please. Woodwives, adaptability. Yes, it's about being flexible. It's about being adaptable. It's about a change that's going to take place this week or sometime very soon for you. And um, there may be a turn of events. There may be changes that take place and you must be adaptable. Spirit is asking you to be adaptable. It is connected into this card here. And this is about seeing the higher perspective, seeing the different layers to a situation. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. Well, you have your ancestors showing up now. So you have some ancestor spirits, you have a passed over loved one that is right by your side. You're surveying the lay of the land. So you're really trying to suss someone out or suss a situation out. Um, so you can navigate the best path forward. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Scorpio, please, spirit. All right, this one here. So the, the Prince of Pentacles, very steady, reliable energy. So um, this is your energy in the week ahead. So there's a sense of going slow with things, being measured with things and being as stable mentally, emotionally and physically in a routine as you can. The Princess of Cups. This is good news. This is really good news coming your way. And it may even touch your heart or your emotions and make you uh, feel inspired or joyful. Um, it might be an invitation. It might be some news about a loved one. Um, but there's definitely some good news on the way. The Eight of Cups. This is a situation or there is a situation going on in someone's life where you're, you are someone that you've being close to it's decided to move on from a situation and uh, someone here is left wondering what happened and kind of wanting to pick up the pieces the sun is going to come out again and so if this is you and you feel that you're kind of under the weather here emotionally good news is on the way keep up a good routine and healthy routine for yourself and the sun is going to shine again this is a breakthrough energy it is light shining in through uh, into your life and a new opportunity it can mean success and opportunity and a victory as well for you the Nine of Cups. Now, this is a fantastic card to receive. It is a wish come true. It means that what you have been wanting to manifest will ultimately come into your life. So that's a beautiful confirmation for you. And the Four of Cups. I'm seeing this as stability emotionally. And if you've been waiting on um, some brightness, success, a victory, this vitality of the sun to shine through into your life, well, it's on the way. Uh, this week, it's you're going to start to see a change for the positive this week. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you would like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now.
So the answer is maybe. So what this means is that it's not set in stone and that your actions, choices, your free will can come into play. And if this question also involves someone else, then their free will might come into play as well before the outcome is set. So it's been a pleasure to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.